okay welcome guys welcome back welcome guys to my youtube channel so in this tutorial i'll be talking i'll, I'll be building this um this user interface this user interface we're seeing here but it's going to be a better one it's going to be i think far better than this so let's just get started without much talk remember i'm august okay now so first things first let's create let's create a new create a new package and we're going to call it tools because that's where our, our ui tools will be then inside these tools now we're going to come here and create a new dart class and the dart class we're going to call it um, let's call it um store <coughs> let's call it store and let's just let's import material material dot that now let's okay class plus store okay now inside this store now we are going to have different things first of all if you look at here we have we have our title we have our price we have our image we have favorites so these are the things we are going to add in our store these are the, these are the variables we add in our store so let's add a string a string and we'll call it item let's call it item item name okay we, we have another okay we have a double we call it item price okay then we also have a string also we call it item item image let's also add some other things here we'll, let's create another double we call it item item rating then let's see let's see what else do we need image okay for now for now nothing so let's create a constructor to match this stuff so okay store dot boutique store dot items okay now okay inside our store dot items now what do you want to pass inside we are going to pass inside our parameters this dot item name okay this dot item price okay this dot item image okay this dot item rating good now that we've done that now let's create a list let's create a list for our store items so we're going to first of all we're going to be creating just 10 items let's just create the first 10 items we have here and please note this that this our data is just look this the data we are designing now is locally maybe in our next now next tutorial i'll be integrating with firebase so i will see the data on firebase okay now let's create a list so the list i'm creating i'm creating a list of these our store items I'm getting a list from our store item, so okay. Now I'll call it now inside this I'll call it I'll I'll call it store items also. Okay. Good. Now we've created this list now. Let's populate our list with items. Let's populate our list with items. So the first item we are going to populate our list with, let's start from here. The first 10 items we have here so the first one we have here is uh, we have pink can so we we'll, let's populate it we now say store items store dot items okay now the first two item let's give it let our uh, name item name item name so the item we we'll call it we we'll give it pink pink can then we we'll have item price our item price is two five thousand five hundred then okay we are asked for our item image our item image let's leave it blank for now then item rating item rating let's still leave it 0, 0.0 for now okay now we have this now let's let's populate it let's add more items the next item we we'll have is black strip black black strip white okay the price there is two four four nine okay still leave it black let's just populate more
Okay, now let's just populate the whole data. Just leave it this way. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> now we've populated our data. Now let's go back to our home. Let's go back to our screen. Let's go back to our screen. Now this was our screen. This was what we left off in our previous tutorial where I designed just the basic screens of everything. So now let's go back to our store screen. Now in our let's our store screen in our user yeah, user screen. Where is it? Where is it? Home page. Okay. Is it this? Let's see, galleries. Yes, I think this is home page though. Okay, yes, this is it. Okay, now let's come to our body. Now inside this our body now we'll have to Let's remove this text, what we have here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to write, I'm going to create a new column. And inside this column, I'll put it children. Then the children now, I have to create, I want to create a new flex, a new flexible. A new flexible. And, okay. Sorry. Now this flexible now is going to take is going to take take a child and this child is going to be a list builder. We are going to use a list builder. No a list builder. Okay, let me see. Let's see. No, let's use a grid list builder. A grid list builder. So I will say new grid grid view dot builder dot custom child delegate extend okay let's use new grid view dot builder so here i'm going to write okay new silver okay now we want to have the number of items we want to have so Okay, we want to have two items. We want to have two items on our grid view per per row. Two two items per row. So here, what we are going to do, our item count is just going to be two. Okay. Now this is our item builder. Now our item builder. Let's just make it quick. Okay. I do guys good. This let's save. Okay. Now this is our this is what we have from this is what we have here now. So we are going to have let's I let's add our item count. Our item count now is going to be from our store. From our store list. So we take this, we we'll come here, we we'll get our store items and use it and use it in our our store items and uh, we are going to use it inside our home page that is inside our home page so our item can we say store items and we import try to import it we try to import it i'll say store items dot length okay now we have store items dot length let's continue Okay, store items on length. So the next thing we are going to add now is we are going to add. Let's just populate our items like let's just do it as like so, like this as we have here. Okay, so now what we are going to do now is we are going to create. Let's create a new card. Let's create. Are we using a card? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Since this is a grid view, let's see. Let's say new see, return new card. Okay. Now our card will take a child. Okay. Now this child um is going to take is going to take a new. I want to use a new stack. Okay, then stack takes children. Good. 
then our children now what the first thing we are going to have now we're going to have let's just have um a blank container for now or let's leave the container let's okay now we'll have let's put a new um let's use a new let's use a new role okay now our role will take uh, our role will take children also okay now since we've gotten this let's put a new text new text then our text now is going to be store items okay with index and what we want is the item item name item name then also let's okay now the next one also want to have here is the price too item price item price but we're going to wrap it inside like this so I'm going to use my currency with naira then I'll, I'll add this dollar symbol to be able to wrap this inside here okay good so let's run this and see what let's run this and see what we have on our emulator let's put it on our iphone on our phone screen Okay, it's launching. Launching. Okay. Let's see. It didn't. It didn't debug properly. It didn't enter. It didn't enter. Okay. Let's just close this emulator and open it again. Let's close it down. Let's run. Let's run it again. Let's stop everything that's going. Let's run it again. You know, sometimes it just has small small problem with his head I don't know why so let's try relaunching it from the beginning and see what's up okay it's building starting a school build Okay. Oops. Okay. I think we'll have so we'll have here. That's good. Okay. Now let's beautify what we have here. Let's make this guy look beautiful. Let's make it beautiful. Okay. Then okay to do that now. Let's let's add an alignment to this our stack. Let's add an alignment to this our stack. Now what we want to align this our stack? We want to make it a fractional. Let's say fractional offset. 
let's align it to the bottom bottom center and save okay now this okay now let's give this some spacing let's see the space between and save okay let's give it a padding let's add padding to it and let's save it also okay okay um space let's just space evenly let's space evenly hmm. okay let's do let's do small correction store item store item name dot dot stream let's stream it let's see still overflowing okay let's just let's start from something start in there let's have a, no this is not what we want this is not what we want to achieve we want to we want to reduce start with start okay substrings start and end we want to reduce the size of our our text there we start at zero and we want to end at okay let's just give it five Okay, I think it's better right now. Five, let's say six. Let's make it okay. Let's just increase this one. Um, let's make it to ten. Oh wow! Let's run this thing again, please. Sorry, eight. Okay, I think this is what we'll do. Let's come back and make it this space between space between. Then here, store items. This, this. Okay, take this. I do it like this. Okay, then let's give it let's let's style it. Let's say style new new text style. Okay, then we give the font to it. You say font to it dot. Then let me give it this very nice font to it. Then um, let's give it a color. Okay, let's leave the color for now. Let's check our font to it how it is. Okay, let's get the font size of about 16.0. Okay, then our price, let's also style our price. So, style new, new text style. Now, we want to give it, let's give it a color. Colors dot red. Let me with red five hundred. Okay, then I want to give it a font, a font width also. We we'll say font width 
four to eight dots. Let's give it seven hundred. Let's just give it basically the same, the same size and everything. Okay. Then let's just do a little more styling to what we have here. A little more styling to what we have here. Since this is a padding, we added a padding to our rule. Okay. Then let's just take this. Uh, let's put this our uh, rule inside a container. Okay. Let's take this now and put inside a container. Okay, child. Okay, no, sorry. Let's go back. Let's paste what we have here. Then. Hmm. Hmm. How do I style this? How do I make it better? Do I give it a... Okay, let's try this. If it doesn't work out, we we'll remove it. So, new container. We'll give it a color. We'll say colors. Let's give it a dark color. Colors dots. Okay, let's find our black and give it an alpha. Let's give it an alpha of 100. Okay. Then we we'll, we'll give it a height also. Let me use the height of um, 25.0. Okay. Let's put this as our child inside here and let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's um let's increase this to like thirty or thirty five. Better. I think it's far better right now. Then okay, since that's the case, let's now come back to our title here. And give it a color colors dot white and save okay so now let us let's look for images to add to our let's look for images to add to this our items new network we are going to add network images the image will be loaded directly from the internet Let's look for images to add to these items here. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, let's find girls. Girls clothes. Okay. Images, ladies. Sorry, ladies clothes. Okay. Then let's start from. Let's just pick any from here. Sorry, not wrong with it. Okay, from here. We'll co copy, copy image address. Yeah, I want to shorten this URL so URL shortener. Shorting URL. Okay, now let's go back to our code. Our store. For here, for our image, let's put this first one. Let's find another image. Okay, let's find and let's get get other images we could add to our items. So, here also. Copy image address. Why I'm shortening the image URL because it's too long. It's too long. I don't. I don't want something long. I just want short, short code that I will be able to use. 
so copy also same here let's get more copy image okay we have two so far let's just get like three or four okay then we just multiply okay five since they are ten let's just get five then we'll multiply it okay copy image address skip something let's get Oof. Okay, let's just make you thought we've gotten so far. Let's make you thought we've gotten so far. Any other one that doesn't have, just copy and paste, copy and paste. Paste. To make sure they all have. They all have images. Then later you could just do the manual editing. Okay, let's see if the if you're, okay. I think every item here now has images attached to it. Okay, now let's come back to our home page. Okay, now on top of this container, I want to have I want to have um, a new I want to have another container. Okay, another container. Okay, okay, another container. Now, this container will have a child. Okay, we we'll have a child. Then, this child will be a new network, network image. New images dot network. Okay, now it's going to take from our store store items index dot image. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's reload this. Okay. Okay, now we have our, our images are loading 
they've loaded sorry then okay now let's let's give this a decoration we we'll say a new let's say new box decoration new box decoration okay now this box decoration will have a decorate an image we we'll use new let's use new network image okay this has an image here so we we'll take we we'll copy this image that we have here let's just copy this image we have here not copy we we'll cut it out remove this child from the container then replace it here let's see why it's giving an error cut it in network image new network image okay sorry sorry so new decorative image our image now we we'll take this we we'll take this new network image i will pass in our image inside here let's still see how it goes okay now let's make our image fit into the let's make our image fit so inside this our image stuff we we'll still okay box shadow shape reduce okay now are they creative okay fit box fit box fit let it fit the the width okay Okay, now this is our we are building our cart. So our cart is almost is almost ready. So let's see what else can we add to our cart to make it to make it better. Let's let's add something on top. Something let's add a rating. Let's add a rating on top. So okay, let's see, let's see, post decoration. Okay. Now stack fractional alignment of button. Can we can we stack on top of a stack? Look at look at stack. Okay, let's try something. Let's add padding. Let's add another stack here. Sorry, Z Z. Okay, you know alignment or alignment fractional offset dot. I want to align something on top on top left. Okay, then what I want to align on the top left is just a new container. A new container. A new container that will have a decoration. A new box decoration then also it has a border reduce we said new border reduce dot only only 
so what i want to the radius i want to add is from i want to from left top left let's say top top right 5.0 Top right, so new reduce 5.0. Here also, okay, bottom right also 5.0. Okay, give it a color. I want to give the color of colors dot blue. Okay, let's give it a height, a height of twenty point zero. Okay. Then give it a width. Let's give it a width of fifty point zero. Sorry, thirty. Let's give it thirty. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Now let's give it. Let's add a. Let's add a child. New um the child one. We we'll add a new role. Okay, new role children, and I want to add a new icons. Icons dot icons dot star. Then give the color colors dot. Let's let's see how blue will look on it. Okay. Then also a new a new text. A new text that has the store items rating, store items index dot rating. Okay. What is wrong? Sorry. Okay. Let's save and see. So let's give let's add a style here. New text style. New text style color. Colors dot white. Okay, now let's reduce the size of our star. Let's give it a size, let's say 20.0. 20.0. Mm, let's increase the width a bit to 60. Okay, now let's see let's add this to the center and see what happens nothing let's remove it it's not necessary okay main axis dot alignment main axis dot alignment dot space between hmm. let's give space evenly 
okay so far so far so good we have built our boutique we have built our boutique item our boutique screen so we just have an we just have our items populated in it and i think it's far more classic than what we have here but it's the same thing okay let's add one more thing let's add one more thing let's add our favorites let's add our favorites to this particular screen so we'll complete this tutorial okay then since that's the case we have this our new container this is our new container let's wrap it inside a roll a row then main axis dot space even space space between space bit space evenly okay then here what i'll have here is a new icon icon button okay icon to have to take icon icons dot icons dot um favorite for now the press will be not with all then color you take colors dot, dot white no since it already has a white background let's give it a different color let's give it colors the blue Okay. Hmm. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Space evenly. Let's move this space evenly and see what comes up here. Okay. Let's see. When axis. When axis the space evenly space between. Okay. Okay. So let's just add. Let's make this. And save. Okay. So so far so good. We have been able to build our store, our boutique store. So we are going to in our next tutorial, we are going to add on click events to these items. On click events to these items and we'll move on from there. Let's we are going to move really we are going to be moving really fast. So and also we'll also be adding this favorite. Then our next tutorial we will no more be using this data. This data locally, we are going to get. We are going to put the data in our database. We are going to use Fire Firebase Firestore Firestore. So we'll do all those configurations in our next tutorial. So so guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. Thank you. God bless you.